All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, I'm late a little bit. Uh, we have a difficulty uh, with uh, some uh, issues uh, regarding uh, broadcast. Google having a hard time. Uh, today our topic is about slavery. Now somebody sent me a video and in the video the sheikh he says in Islam slavery have only one reason which is uh, war. War. And you know this is the name of the video I'm not going to play the video but you can search for it and you can find it yourself. Slavery in Islam, Sheikh Asim Al Hakim. You know, when Muslims they speak about anything, many of you, especially if the person is uh, with long beard, you know, like look at this beard here. I mean, this beard is big and etc. So, you as a person who is not a Muslim, or even if you are a Muslim, you will consider that this person is speak of knowledge, and there is no way. He is lying or cheating or mistaken otherwise why he is behind that table in an Islamic TV and this is the same TV as uh, Zakir Naik by the way uh, which means he's from the same gang so there is no way you will think for a second that those people are not telling or sharing the truth so is it true really that uh, slavery is only coming from uh, war uh, there is very easy way to prove that this is a big fat lie as an example all of us we heard of a woman her name is Mary the Copt and I'm, the go I'm not going to use a, a Christian website this is a very well-known Islamic website and the Sheikh there is a very well-known Sheikh from Saudi Arabia his name is Saleh al -Munjid. they are asking uh, you know about Mary the Copt, the Coptia, which means the Egyptian. The real Egyptian is the Coptic Christians who they are in Egypt now, not the Muslims. Was Mary uh, the Coptia one of the mothers of the believers? Mother of the believers is a term Muslims they use when they speak about any woman Muhammad he did marry, uh, or she became his wife. Muslims they lie to us always and they say yeah Mary the cop she was his wife in fact she was never ever and actually this is what the Islamic fatwa here they are answering the question here uh, because this is what the question is uh, question there was no doubt that Maria the cop was a concubine, concubine of a messenger of Allah and she bore him a son is called Ibrahim by the way, I believe strongly that Muhammad never have a son, and uh, this Ibrahim have nothing to do with Muhammad. Uh, this is why Aisha, she many times she said to him, "He don't even look like you, don't you can tell?" And even Omar, he wanted to kill her cousin uh, Ibn Juraj uh, because they suspect it is him who is sleeping with her. The answer, praise be to Allah as usual, the Prophet peace be upon him, etc., did not marry Maria the Coptia. Rather, she was a, a, a you know a slave girl who was given to him by Al Muqawqas, the ruler of Egypt. Now, in the video, the guy right away he said, "In Islam, we have only one source of slavery, which is war." Al Muqawqas was the ruler of Egypt. He sent Muhammad big, huge gift, many slaves and a lot of gold. A lot of gold so why they lie to us and they say that uh, the source of slavery is only war a gift Muhammad he opened his door he found a bunch of slaves in the front of his house did Muhammad free them no he took them and he started having sex with them the women and the men he, he add them to the list of his slaves 
I will show you from you know I, I could not find uh, some English uh, books or translation to read for you this is a book it's called as samat al thameen fi manaqib ummahat al mu'minin this is the book about the mother of the believers all right page number 133 it says here Maria the Coptia, Mary the Copt, the daughter of Shema'un, which means Simon. She was a gift to him from Al Makaukas, the ruler of Egypt, the ruler of Alexandria, exactly. And he gave him with her her sister Serene, and a guy who is his penis is cut off. Uh, and. Uh, and the prophet he gave Serene. To Hassan ibn Thabit, so he is giving a gift like he kept that one, the beautiful one, and her sister, she is less a beauty or more older. He gave her to Hassan ibn Thabit. Uh, and not only that, actually, he uh, he he uh, uh, he gave him. Let us read together what the gift is. Al Muqawas, he sent the ruler of Alexandria, he sent. In the year seven of Al Hijra, which means the seven year after Muhammad he left Mecca, Mary the Copt and her sister with a thousand weight of gold and twenty dress, which is most expensive. And he sent him a very spoiled uh, uh, mule, and he sent him uh, uh, a donkey. And some they call him Yafur, but by the way, the story of Yafur in the book of Ibn Kathir it says different that therefore it was not from the gift, it was from the attack of Khaybar. But here we see that Muhammad, how much he receiving money and gifts and human as gifts. But in the Islamic videos, they say the source of slavery always was and only, uh, uh, you know, war. Which is absolutely a lie. There's a hadith where a man he did marry a woman, and uh, he came to the prophet, and he said to him, "I did marry this woman, and I found that she is, uh, you know, she had sex with someone else, and soon she will have a baby." So the prophet he says, "You lash her one hundred lashes, because she committed adultery before she marry you, and her son will be your slave." Additional to that. What about buying and selling? What about Bilal himself? A very famous. You see, I'm trying to use easy refer reference. Bilal himself was bought. Bilal, the slave of the Prophet, he was bought by Abu Bakr. And Bilal, the poor man, he was begging for his, his you know, his, his freedom. He converted to Islam, yet they will not free him. To the point Bilal he said to Abu Bakr if you bought me for yourself then keep me for yourself but if you have bought me for the sake of Allah or for Allah's sake then leave me for Allah work or for Allah's sake uh, somebody saying to me Muslim uh, proper so why it is wrong to accept gifts did not uh, David give gold and slaves and more to God how David can give it to God I don't know what does that mean I mean what God will do with the slaves <laughs> I mean you Muslims are funny when you when you, when you speak about something so like uh, David he gave gift to God and he gave him slaves and God he take their slaves and he took them there I mean what are you talking about and by the way we're not talking about what is wrong what's what what's right now we are talking about lying we are talking about lying. Why you Muslims always lie about your religion? Say, hey, you know, in Islam, we have many sources of slavery. We buy, we sell, we capture. So I'm not talking now about what is wrong and what is right. I'm talking about why you lie. Why you Muslims, why we cannot find a Muslim, he say things as it is. We say to them, the Quran says, beat your wife. They say, oh, the Quran says, beat them lightly. Where in the Quran says they beat them lightly? And what beat them lightly mean? 
So if this is the source of slavery, see, this is the source of slavery. There's only one reason for a person to hide his belief is to be ashamed of it. Correct, guys? Is that correct? Why you why you are hiding? Why you are lying to us? Say to us, this is okay. A, 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 a shake in TV, and millions of you are watching him. Not even single of one of you. He says this is a lie. It's not true. Why, if a Christian prince he says something, all of you you jump to accuse him of lying. But when your shake lie in TV and millions of people watching, not a single Muslim make a video against him says you are a liar. And this is telling us. A lot about the nature of this, this cult. If Islam really a true belief, and the followers of Islam are true believers, they should not be ashamed of it, and they should be, should not be lying about it. Was Bilal boat? Yes. So what do you mean the source of slavery is only war? Was Mary the 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 the, the copt was a gift, and her sister and her cousin, and one thousand weight of gold? I mean, imagine, guys. They, they, they say to us the prophet was poor. 1000 weight of gold we do not know how is that is that you know like a truck of gold the prophet was uh, poor the prophet he have 13 wives how how a person he is poor he can afford to have 13 wives You know, Aisha, I, I, just, I just remember, hold on. Aisha once, she swears she will not talk to a guy, Ibn Zubair, as I remember. She made an oath by Allah, I will never talk to him. Do anyone knows what Aisha she did in order to, to be forgiven by Allah to talk to him because she spoke to him after she took an oath? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? Any Muslim knows? What Aisha she did just to because she broke an oath. What she did for that oath. She promised she will not talk to this person. Any Muslim knows? She freed 40 slaves. 40 slaves. How in the world Aisha she have 40 slaves? The Muslim they keep saying to us, the prophet was poor. Let me find the hadith so they will not say I'm making things up. Hold on. <laughs> you know them, right? <laughs> you know them. Forty slaves. Oh boy. I found the hadith. I found the hadith. But look what happened. There is no translation. Guys, look at this with me. This is the hadith in Arabic. Look how long it is. Please look with me how long it is. Look how long it is. Look how long. Look, 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 look. It's, you can make a book from this hadith. And it is sahih. And look in the other side. There's no translation. What happened? What happened? The whole hadith became only two lines. Do you see it, guys? The whole hadith became what one, two line, three line, four line, five lines. What happened to the hadith? Where is the where is the translation? This is the hadith in the, in the front of you. Look, I'm showing you the hadith, the exact hadith. Here we go, both both sides. Here we go. I'm showing you both side. Huh? I will scroll down. Uh, uh, uh. What happened? What happened? We go down more. We go down more, we go down more, 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 more. It's gone. Do you know why it's gone? Because at the end it says that Aisha she freed 40 slaves. She freed how many? Just because she broke an oath. Do you see how poor the prophet is? Aisha alone, he have four, he have 13 wives. Aisha alone, she freed 40. She did not free all her slaves. This is some of her slaves. If Aisha, she freed 40, you know what? I, I'm not going to accept this. I, I'm, uh, I will look. I need to find a translation. 
I mean, I'm going to get you busted in English. Hold on. Give me a second. You try to hide it from me? Oh, okay. Good luck. <coughs> Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. We found it in different place. They tried to find it here, but they forgot to find to hide it there. <laughs> here we go. And this is Sahih, the same hadith. This is the same Sahih hadith. This is what? The same Sahih hadith. Aisha, she swear she will never talk to this man, Abdullah ibn Zubayr. I vow before Allah that I will never speak to Ibn Zubayr. And how Aisha, she fixed that. She made a vow, a vow, and now she broke it. So look what happened. Later on, because she spoke to him, she spoke to Abu Zubayr, she broke her oath, and she freed 40 slaves for she is a breaking her vow her vow do you see it guys we found it in english thanks god and this is al bukhari and this is sahih who won the reference who won the link who won the link so do you see how how they lie to us the prophet i mean imagine i have 40 slaves in my house i need to feed them what i will feed them I have to uh, for this is not all of them this is not all of them this is just some of her uh, slaves so I freed 40 how many she have a soldier of justice you want to debate me uh, who are you uh, give me give me your Facebook let's see who you are if you are somebody like uh, uh, like you know your beard is long we will be happy to uh, I will call you myself do you see guys she owned 40 slaves how many of you uh, saved the link how many of you saved the link which we gave you did you save it guys about Aisha she owned 40 slaves and by the way this is the same hadith which we did not find a translation for it here you see this is exactly the same hadith and this is Sahih you see, the Muslim, they cannot say that this hadith is not sahih. It's exactly the same one. Let me give you the other link. It says down at the end, sahih. See, they cannot say, uh, you, know, you know, Islam is weak, but we can say everything is Islam. Uh, Allah is weak. Muhammad is weak. The Quran, no, sorry. Uh, Allah is weak. The Quran is weak. The hadith is weak. Muhammad is strong in the bed. And later we find that even Muhammad is weak in the bed and he, he never, he cannot do it. 40 slaves she freed. It's like saying, you know, a Christian prince is very poor and uh, uh, he decided to, to free uh, 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 40 uh, camels. Where do you get the 40 camels from? Or to give out 40 cars. Did they say at that time they are like property? Huh? They are property, actually. This is what they are, slaves. So Christian prince is so poor. Poor. Uh, very poor. And he gave out 40 cars. Maybe, maybe Aisha, she won the lotto. Uh, Fahim, uh, he said to me, in Islam, we condemn slavery. Show me the reference. I challenge you. Show me. Uh, let me speak to you, Azmimi Hijab. Show me. Silence me. We condemn slavery. What a big fat lie. One of the names of your prophet, Ba'i'ul Abid, the slave seller. Not only that, your prophet actually, he used, if somebody, he free a slave and he don't like it, he force him to be to, to be slave again. And your prophet, he used to have a lot of slaves just for fun, especially from Ethiopia, and those are not from war. 
Did Muhammad have a war and at the time of Aisha with the Ethiopian? No. So where the Ethiopian slaves are coming from? They bought them. I met Aisha. I asked her about a Nabid. Nabid, making wine. <laughs> Aisha, she is an expert in wine. That was served to Allah Messenger. Aisha and a woman, they are talking about what is the wine you serve the Prophet of Allah. Aisha called the, the Ethiopian slave. You see here, they put it servant. This is not a servant, this is a slave. Jaria and said, Ask her about it. For it was uh, uh, he, I mean, this is translation, her, not he, who prepared the Nabith for Allah Messenger. And here you will see that this is a wine. They cannot say this is not a wine. Who won the hadith? Who won the hadith? She tied it up to make it, you know, like this is how you make the wine. You know, you put, uh, 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 you put the juice and you tie it up in the heat and it's going to, you know, by time it's going to turn into something else. So here, this is a, this is a servant to where Aisha she is getting her, is she is captured in a war, she's an Ethiopian. This is the hadith for the one who wanted it. That is posted in the text. Let us see how many of you save reference. So later you don't ask me where this is from. All right. <clears throat> All of those, look at those Ethiopian slaves playing music for Muhammad. Sahih Muslim. Aisha reported that Abu Bakr came to her and she was with her two girls. What, what kind of girls they are? They are slaves. In Arabic, it says Jariyatan. In English, it says two girls, but the fact it doesn't say two girls, it says two slave girls. Do you see it? Liars, liars, liars. So do you see it, Muslims? Why, why in the translation it doesn't say two slaves? What happened? You ate the words? The prophet, he have a slave girls dancing for him, playing music for him. I thought the music is haram. And the prophet is poor. You see, the prophet, he don't go to the bar to enjoy uh, dancing girls. Uh, the bar come to him because he's very poor. Right? All the translation, Islamic translation, is a lie. Look, we're in the Jawari, they translate Jawari as girls. Jawari is a slaves. <laughs> yeah, related to me from Malik, from etc., from. That the slave girls of Abdullah ibn Umar used to wash his feet and bring him meat of palm leaves while they were ministering. Malik was asked whether the man who had women and slave girls should have intercourse with them all before they do so before he wash his private part. He said, There's no haram in man having intercourse with two of his slave girls before he does go to his, a threesome. Yeah, you know? Where were those slaves coming from? Buying them, those are not kidnapped. And the Muslims were buying and selling slaves for centuries. Actually, until now they have slaves. Mauritania is the biggest slavery country in the world. Libya, they have more than 20,000 African slaves as we speak now, and the world doing nothing about it. Saudi Arabia, you name it. 
Slaves. Slaves all over. <clears throat> Look at the translation here. I mean, the translation, I want to show you a, a reference about slavery. Translation, show nothing about slave. Where is the word slave here? I didn't see it. They, they do it on purpose. They do it on purpose. Look, here, some young girls singing. Uh, they entered upon Muhammad and he found some young girls singing. What it says young girls singing? Those are young slaves singing. Like, do you, th do you think girls, they will go to the house of somebody and they sing for him? Who are they, those young girls singing to Muhammad? Is that American Idol? Do you see how they lie in the translation? Are some girls singing to the prophet. Why they are there? Why I don't have girls singing in my house? Let me open the door. Maybe some girls will walk by. So those girls who are singing to the prophet, who are they? Slaves. It says they are jawarin. Why you are saying they are just young girls? This is why we say we cannot trust any any Muslim explaining or answering about Islam. Again, if there is any Muslim, he claimed to be a scholar or a big sheikh. You have a long beard, you know. If you have a Facebook, if you have a, a YouTube. Make a video there or post on Facebook says I want to debate Christian Prince. I will call you immediately Today tomorrow every day. No problem All what we are requiring people who they are fit for such a conversation We don't want to speak to kids who do not know how even to pronounce their prophet name So if you are a Muslim and you know somebody he is a qualified please we are looking for a qualified Muslims because as you see you're a qualified the qualified one with the long beard are liars and we got in the busted we got them busted in two seconds I mean look at this guy when you see a guy in this age he have a long beard uh, by the way my beard is longer that's why I got a ticket in the other day the police stopped me he says your uh, your beard is coming out of the window of your car and blocking the highway Imagine how, how long it is. And this is a true story, by the way. We can find it in Sahih al-Bukhari. But yet it is weak. Weak story. <clears throat> oh, boy. Look what the translation. I mean, look at the translation. I'm trying to show you reference. I don't know what to show you. All the words about slaves is gone. What? What is the? What? Uh, like here, we find a hadith about captured girls from the Byzantine. They are the blondie women. You know, those are the blondie. Eh? the blondie that's why Muhammad it says attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls all right look at this hadith what if somebody he decide to free his slave what Muhammad will do a man he freed his slave and he had no other property except 
that this is a translation of Muslims not my translation I'm not the one saying he's a property so the Prophet canceled the freedom why what is the business of Muhammad what the Prophet did the Prophet the guy he free his slave okay he don't have anything he owned nothing except this slave why you are why Muhammad is intervening what's the problem should everybody have a slave if I am a person who own a slave and I decide to let him go why Muhammad intervene and he forced that slave to be a slave again any Muslim can tell us is that a Daif hadith And we can find tons of stories like this. Not only he canceled the freedom, he took the slave and he sold him to a different person. What do you say? Uh, no, somebody saying if you only want to debate uh, sheikhs, ordinary Muslims will not learn. They are learning. Here we go. The same as you do. Like, are we talking only to sheikhs? No, this video is for everybody. But in order to have a debate, or if we can call it a debate, we have to have somebody is qualified. Otherwise, it's, a, it's going to be a garbage of two people shouting. We have an experience of the last two years. We are shouting. Really, you can find somebody who really, he know what he's talking about. I don't want to shout no more. I'm losing my voice each time they call me. You know, they are kids. A kid, he can lie as much as he want. A Muslim Sheikh, we can get him busted. Do you remember last time when Sheikh Abdul Wadud and I showed him the, the, the hadith about uh, 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 the breastfeeding? Do you remember what happened? Hold on, let me get it. Just, to, just, just for the sake of love. That's why I say debating a Sheikh is a lot easier. Debating a kid is useless. I mean... <laughs> uh. Let us see. We asked him about the breastfeeding, and he said there is no such a thing, and he tried to get away. Which means even a sheikh is a liar. And he tried to play games. But it's a lot easier to get a sheikh busted. First of all, it's worth it. Secondly, it's fun. Number three, it's funny. The breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse? bit uh, down okay this is just a comment about the hadith this is not uh, you know so anyway so can you recite for me the breastfeed for adult verse please you said we memorize it is nothing is missing well, the, there's no there's no verses about that. that that was that was something that she kept about for has for her memory okay really what are you talking yeah. about it says here the breast the verses the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed what do you mean there was no such a thing it says was revealed do you see the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed so what do you mean there's no such a thing okay brother you have so many questions and we need if you if you know the quran as not uh, okay brother you have so many questions uh, what is the answer <laughs> this is the sheikh uh, this is this is who this is the sheikh this is not a shiku this is not the the, the guy who work in uh, mcdonald this is the sheikh so why you want to talk to kids if the sheikh he cannot answer Okay, brother, you have many, uh, so many questions. So why you are here then? Are we going to play Demino? The thing. 
It says, was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and breastfeeding was revealed? So what do you mean there's no such a thing? Okay, brother. You have so many questions. And we need, if you, if you know the Quran is not, not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there, you know? This is another we question, my friend. This is another question. This is another question. Can you recite for me? Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses? Sorry, brother. Can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult 10 times? Adult ten time. Hmm. Can you recite the there's verse? No, there's no words for that. Okay, brother. Well, here it says, here it says that the verses was revealed. So are you accusing Aisha to be a liar, my friend? I'm not accusing Aisha. Hmm. Is her, okay. That she's a liar. So what? Are, why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed. But yet you say there's no such a thing. So one of you is lying, either her or, or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll call. I'll call you. What time you come come live? Almost uh, every day. day. Almost every day, my friend. Every day from what time to what time? Um, you know, sometime uh, three thirty New York time. Sometime before. You know, you can subscribe to my channel and you will be able to follow me. Okay, okay. brother. I will. I will tell my student to listen uh, right. to tell me. You are welcome, and I will come you always. And I apologize again if I was harsh in some words with you. I don't mean to be yeah. so, to be harsh, but. Uh, I know you have questions. I know you have questions about Islam. Oh. How it was revealed? Why was uh, Prophet Muhammad a prophet? Why was Quran revealed? Why was each verse hmm. revealed? Why? Why we have all everything from the from the Bible and the Torah? You have you are saying this when why we what you have so many why why? So, so inshallah we'll ask we'll answer all your all your why why. Yes. But nobody can answer them as you see until now. You did not answer anything. And the last and the last one you are oh, trying not to answer. To why you don't is that my, my friend before you go I, I understand you are going you, you are going you said no because so you don't know the concept of God first my friend my friend before you go just one the last question I asked you why you don't answer it why you are saying that Aisha she said there is a breastfeeding revealed and you are saying there's no such a thing why you don't why either you apologize from Aisha not from me because you are accusing Aisha that when she said the breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. Do you know what revealed mean? It was inspiration. Uh, either you apologize from Aisha or you say, I don't agree with Aisha. Okay, brother, let me see the hadith again. Um, I'll, I'll try to look into, into this hadith. Mm. Okay, brother? Okay. Mm. And we'll try to talk again, again, and again. So you will not answer me now. You will not answer me. It. Okay, I got it. Okay, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I, I will answer you. It's not that I, I can't answer you. I will answer you. I mean, I will answer you. Like, come on. Hello, I will answer you. Yeah, I will answer you. <laughs> yeah, and you have many why. You have many why. This is how they are. This is how they are. His, 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 Aisha, she says the verses of breastfeeding was revealed. He said there's no such a thing. And this is the Sheikh. And he's an Imam in, uh, in a mosque in New York. So, what do you expect from a kid? Uh, somebody says, uh, uh, Mursal, he says, uh, a Christian prince, he started a new rule. And uh, Abdul, listen, this ultimate fart, we got him busted each time he called. All it, all the video is there. Okay, show me where he showed me uh, where this ultimate fart. He showed me I'm lying. Can you quote for me? Can you? So everybody will laugh. <laughs> and and he called me second time and he apologized for being stupid. Are you stupid or what? Isn't it your ultimate fault? Who each time he call and we get him busted. And last time he says to me, the scholars are lying. Guys, do you remember last time he called me? He said the scholar is lying, so I hang up on him. So ultimate fault, he knew more than the scholars. This is what he said to me. So why I want to talk to him? He got himself busted. He accused you Muslims that your scholars are a bunch of liars, not me. It's him who said the Muslim scholars are lying. This is the last time he spoke to me and I hang up on him because I don't want to waste my time. If I show you a reference and your scholars explain the Quran and you say to me the scholars are lying, there's nothing to talk about. You go, you, you make a video against the scholars because he said the scholars are lying. So your ultimate fault is claiming 
that your Muslim scholars are liars. Well, thank you very much. This is the whole point. All, all of you are a bunch of liars. If the scholars have no dignity, who is ultimate fault to have a dignity? If you say to me that our scholars are a bunch of liars, why we can trust you, you, who you are no one? Correct, guys? <laughs> this is what you must them how funny you are. The video is there, everybody is laughing. This guy you don't even know two, two words in Islam. The same as the guy who uh, what his name? Uh, Ustaz uh, Potato from Nigeria, what his name? We ask him who is uh, Zulkarnain, he do not know. I don't know. So why you are making calling yourself Ustaz? He called himself Ustaz, which means master, you know, master. Imagine there's a guy, he is a, a Kung Fu master, but he do not play Kung Fu. I mean, how you call yourself master? Master in what? Just to make uh, uh, to make money of those poor uh, Nigerian? What? Huh? And here we go. I am here open right now, not tomorrow. Anyone who claim to be a scholar post for us a, a challenge to debate Christian Prince. We check you that you are really a person who have a lot of followers, very well known person. I will call you myself. I will not wait for you to call me. Give me your Skype. I will call you. Hey, Fahim, this guy is an idiot. Last time he called me, he started playing for me love of music. This way, actually, we stop uh, taking calls from kids. I mean, look at this guy, Fahim. He's 50 years old, maybe older. When he called me, he started playing for me, love of music. Any Abdul? Hmm? Where is uh, the you know why Mimi Mimi Hijab wanna debate uh, uh, David Wood wanna debate an atheist why he don't get it close to me I challenge him many time why he don't accept where is Sister Shamsi Shamshi where is the nurse Aridawa where is all those guys they claim to have a, to claim to big deal how many times we made the video says if you dare here we go they not, don't even dare to get it close to me. Right? Oh, what about Shabir Ali? Shabir Ali, they ask him, when you are going to debate a Christian prince, uh, he starts saying, oh, Christian prince is like, there is a high leak and la la leak. Obviously, Shabir Ali, is, his, 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 uh, his fear is leaking. We organize a debate between me and Shabir Ali in ABN TV. The coward he backed up. Go and ask him. And the liar, he said, the Christian prince, he contacted me to debate him. I never contacted him. I do not know how to contact him. It was ABN, send me email and send him email. Said, so, do you accept to debate each other? Shabir Ali accepted. For me, I said, it doesn't matter who is he. I don't even know who Shabir Ali at that time. The second he know who I am, he bought my book from Amazon. And then he sent an email to ABN, says, I'm busy with my PhD. And since then, he is busy. And until he die, he will be busy. Any reference for breastfeeding for uh, well, yeah the, the the Shia they have but they they have different different kind of stories the Shia they have their own stories so anyone he think he have knowledge wanna debate me you are more than welcome but don't bring me kids. Anyone? Well, yeah, what about this guy, Imam Tawhidi from the Shia? This guy is a potato. He will not even dare to say hello to me. I, I made a challenge with you for him too. I mean, name for me, one of those potatoes, I did not make a, a special video for him to debate me. Special challenge. They never. Right? And we are here. If you 
If you think you are a person of knowledge, let me know. Let me know. I never saw a Muslim he knows even what he's talking about. So anyway, we can talk about slavery forever in Islam, and obviously they lie to us, and uh, you know we can prove them, we can get them busted. Buying, selling slaves is is normal in Islam. <clears throat> People they set slaves free. Muhammad he enslaved them again. Do you see it? The messenger of Allah he purchased from him a slave, or a female slave. <laughs> the prophet is purchasing slaves, my friend. Why the prophet is purchasing slaves? Any Abdul? You say to us we get slaves only from war. The, the prophet buying slaves? What he would do with them for? This is for a snack? We can we can show in this reference so here we are not talking about what's wrong what's right we are talking about why they lie to us why they lie and there's hadith there, there's there is books by the way about how to buy slaves as an example if you if you touch a, a slave vagina you have to buy her that's it they put her they put her in the in the in the stage Let us show you an example. Yeah, this is what they used to do. Let us get you a picture to give you an... Uh, Some pictures of slaveries to explain to you what was going on and by the way uh, slavery never stop and will never stop will never stop And even the heaven of Allah is the heaven of a slavery. You go to there, Allah will, will send 72 slave girls or a whore. He will enslave them to be sex slaves for eternity in heaven. I, I saw before a picture. Yeah, here. Like this one as an example. Those are for sale. This is the market. This is the market. If you go in the in the, uh, uh, there is many books like Muatta Malik as an example. If a person he touch a woman uh, vagina, and she is a slave, he have to buy her. You can touch but not her vagina. But if you touch the vagina, you can. But then you have you must buy her. That's it. Uh, there is a story on Ibn Umar that when he buys slaves, he always touches their their breast. He left up their skirts to see their their uh, their legs and her ass. Let me see if I can find you the reference. Okay. 
look I found I found the uh, Islamic website uh, about the ruling the ruling about uh, looking at the slaves and touching them in the purpose of buying islamweb.net fatwa number let me show you the fatwa number 27 2938 see it this is the numbers the numbers in Arabic what is the ruling about touching slaves in the in for the purpose looking and touching slaves for the purpose of buying and here they explain to you what is the purpose uh, from Ibn Hanbal he says it is it is okay if he kissed her if if he wanted to buy <laughs> because she have no nothing forbidden in her nothing forbidden in her all right and it is allowed ajaza taqlibu sadr wadhahr bima'na lamsihi min fawq thiyab it's allowed for you before you buy her to touch her breast and her back from the top of the cloth some of the scholars says it's better not to do that like you know before you buy it uh, everything which is about you are allowed to look from the sleeves of somebody else it's allowed to touch it if he uh, like can protect himself from the second from like from the desire like you get horny right away because you have to wait until you get her home you can't jump on her in the street and then he says it is not allowed to touch for the sake of a desire because you did not buy her yet she's not yours see you see, see how conservative the Muslims I mean after you buy her you can have sex with her but now you did not buy her, so why you want to enjoy something is not yours? Haram, haram. Hmm? Uh, question about the man he is looking at this. He want to buy a slave. Is it okay to look at her hands? He says. I hope there's no problem with that. And he said, what about her uh, her, her worst and her legs? He says, I don't think that is necessarily. I mean, rules. From Al Imam Al Sarkhasi, he says, if a man he wanted to buy a slave, it's okay for him to look at her hair, her chest, her legs. And if he wished, like if you have a desire, uh, because the purpose of it is buying. Uh, and it's not going to be how much is going to be unless he can see I mean come on you want the guy to buy and pay and name the price without checking the product but in the Muslim video they say to us you know in Islam we cannot do that right and let us look another hadith. There's a hadith we did not mention. Anyone remember? Every human being, he is not a Muslim, should be enslaved. Every human being, he is not a Muslim, should be enslaved. This is Sahih al Bukhari. The verse in the Quran, chapter 3, 110, it says, You are the best of mankind. Islam is a fascist religion. Islam is a fascist religion. Believe that it's Muslims are a supremacist. Muslims are supreme. You see, they talk about the white supremacist uh, people. The Islam is the same, you know, Nazi, fascist, you know, fascist. They think they are the best of mankind. And everyone else should be their slaves. Read carefully. 
This is Sahih Hadith, not Da'if, they say to you. And this is come out, explain the Quran. From chapter 3, verse 110, it says, You are the best of mankind. Means, the best of the people for the people as bring them with the chains around their necks until they embrace Islam and now enter in the embrace Islam are they going to be freed no not necessarily as an example the story of Bilal Bilal he was uh, a Muslim he converted to Islam still he did not he wasn't freed so the best of mankind are the Muslims for they, they believe they are a supremacist uh, 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 a group you know they have they are a nation by themselves Muslim by the way they believe they are a nation they are you know this is this is their ethnic their ethnic is Islam so we are the best of mankind and you are nothing you are our slave and we bring you with the chains around your neck are we making things up Muslims, are we making things up? Where it says Bilal wasn't freed? Okay. That's a good question. Where it says Bilal wasn't freed? Here we go. Bilal is begging for his freedom. Show me where it says Bilal was freed. And if Bilal was freed, this is after him begging. But uh, as I know, Muhammad he never free Bilal. Muhammad he die, and Bilal is asking his real owner, which is the, the one who bought him, Abu Bakr, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, pre free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. Do you see it? Why Bilal is begging for his freedom? And there is no way Bilal is saying that unless he is he's, he feels that this is unjust. Somebody cheated on him. They told him if you convert to Islam, we will let you free. And now he is a Muslim. He told he told him if you convert and you fight for with us, he fought with them. And even Muhammad, he made fun of the look of Bilal. Anyone remember what, what Bilal was called, according to Muhammad? Who remember what, what, what Bilal was called by Muhammad? Who remember? Just to show you how Muhammad respect black people. Anyone remember? Raising head. Do you think raising head as a description is a good description for a black person? Hmm? Who was a Muslim and explained to us how nice Muhammad is by saying that Bilal is a raisin head? And by the way, the Muslims, they always quote for you. They say to you, do you know the last sermon? I challenge any Muslim to show me an authentic source of this story. It's fabricated. The last sermon, Muhammad, he says, there's no difference between white and black. Show me where it's coming from. It's the same story. There's a, there's a Jewish guy he used to throw garbage at the house of the Prophet. Show me the story. We cannot find it. It's a lie. This is the books they keep saying to us oh you are give, bringing us hadith is not accepted oh you are bringing us we like only ibn kathir uh, sorry we like only al bukhari we like only ibn, uh, a muslim and then we we well, suddenly they accept books which is not accepted by them or hadith is not accepted You just uh, type in sunnah.com, type the link, type the, the what you see in the screen. The Prophet said, listen and obey your chief. So Muhammad, he made, made his slave, Bilal, a chief in the war. This is just for a war. This is not because he became a master. No, this is a war. He is a, he's a you know, he's a black man who have a good body, good fighter, physically uh, very good. So Muhammad, he made him a chief of a group. 
and those Arab like what the heck an Ethiopian slave is going to be our chief Muhammad he said to them even if he is an Ethiopian who is his head is like a raisin where mid made your chief you see it do you see it Muslims is that is that a statement of somebody respect to black people Hmm? What he said, Habasha, if he know Ethiopia, you know, Habash. Okay, Habash is another name for the for the black. You know, like uh, uh, you know the, the the turkey, the turkey, the bird. In Arabic, we call it Habash too, which is a, because it's a black a black uh, black bird. So they call it a dikul habash. So they lie to us and they give us speeches about you know Islam and Islam is against you know uh, uh, Islam free slavery in one of uh, this is how uh, we showed you how Muhammad he forced a slave to be a slave again correct? You remember the hadith right? The guy he freed the slave. Anyone that saved the hadith or nobody saved it? Who how many of you saved the hadith already? There's many of them, by the way. People they free their slave Muhammad, he forced them to be slaves again. And yet they say Islam encourage a freeing their slave. The man he don't have other property except this slave. Should he have a slave? I mean, if you don't have a property. So Muhammad now he care for the master, he don't care for the slave, obviously, correct guys. What the Muslim will say about this? They will say the guy he don't have any other slave in another property. So what does that mean? That means Muhammad he care only for the free man to own property. He don't care for the slave man to have his freedom. Which one is more priceless? I mean, the guy, the free man is a free man at least. He have something, he have his freedom. The slave he owned nothing. Do we have any Abdul want to say something? Hmm. Anyone? Any Abdul? Muhammad, he owns slaves. How many of you saved the hadith about Aisha? She freed 40 slaves. Let us see how many of you save it. How many of you save it? How many of you save this hadith? They say to us, Muhammad was, was poor. Aisha, she freed 40, not because she liked to free slaves, but because she broke an oath. Did you get the point? Otherwise, why why they are still slaves under that day? So she broke she broke an oath, and that was the real reason behind the freeing the slaves, not because because now she feared Allah will punish her because now she broke the oath. So how Aisha and from where she have or she had forty 
slaves to free if this is the number of she freed and remember this is number 40 I mean 40 is a holy number for the Muslims in order to free 40 what does that mean you have four hundreds four thousands 40 slaves one shot And they lie to us, they say that Muhammad was a very poor man. I mean, do you see how poor he, uh, Aisha she is? Uh, if every wife, if every wife have only 40 slaves, how many slaves Muhammad? But Aisha, she have many. She only freed 40. <laughs> Let us say this. Assume which is not a right number every wife of Muhammad she have 40 x 13 they have 520 slaves only the wives he have five hundred twenty female slaves by the way those are females As some reference claim, any Muslim want to say something? So I am a very poor person, but I have. I'm going to give out today uh, forty cars. Do you see how poor I am? I'm very poor. My name is a Prophet Muhammad. I borrow. Borrow money from a Jewish neighbor, brother, uh, and I gave him my sword, brother, in order to give me money, brother. But my wife, she freed in one day 40 slaves. And why she freed them? Not because she's a good woman. No, because she disobeyed Allah. Muslims, they free slaves when they commit a crime. It's a, it's a punishment, not a reward. Like if a Muslim he kill a Muslim by mistake, huh? Now he commit a crime against Allah. So the, the slave is like a chicken, you know, give a chicken out. How are you, Joko? Joko, why you are saying uh, why you are calling me names? Guys, we have a Muslim in the text, he is saying that he is uh, he's upset. Joko, why you're upset? Is it true that Aisha she gave she free 40 slaves just because she broke an oath? From where she got the 40 slaves, Abdul? I will give you three options. Aisha, she got the 40 slaves from YouTube. She downloaded them from YouTube. Aisha, she received 40 slaves from the cable company. Or Aisha, she bought those slaves. Or maybe she captured them. Where she got the 40 slaves? Any Muslim? I'm going to free 40 slaves, guys, but I'm very poor. Joko is an Indonesian Abdul. What I can do for you, Indonesian Abdul? The only thing you can say to me, you are a liar. I'm showing you the hadith number, it, and it says Bukhari in the screen. And this is Sahih. So, what I will do now, I mean, look at them. I show them the reference, I read it for them. I open their website, I read the translate, read their translation, and that still they say to me, you are a liar. You know, if you open a Muslim brain, what you will find inside, especially if he's listening to Christian Prince. He will find inside a repeated sale. It says liar, 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 liar. To convince himself that he is not hearing me. Hearing me. I'm showing you. This is your translation. This is your website. This is your book. This is your reference. And still you say to me, liar. And look, this hadith with significant value. Obviously. Significant value.
like you know uh, uh, last time I was when I was uh, in Asia this is in China an idiot he started telling me about uh, he said it's you know many people they say things about Islam and not a true and about Arab because they hate Arab and he, he was talking to me you know he was talking to me and he make me like sound like I hate Arab and then I said to himself to him to him do you know that I'm an Arab he said what <laughs> you know look look at those idiots in order to make you look bad they make you like okay you, you obviously you are racist you hate the Arab I am an Arab you idiot maybe I hate myself You want to be a prophet? That's very easy. First of all, ask somebody to do black magic for you. So you imagine that you had sex and you never done such a thing. And that is a clear sign of you being a prophet. You are getting ready, very close. Almost there. Look at this translation here. Look at this hadith. Guys, read with me this hadith. Who won this hadith? Who won this hadith? They came to the Messenger of Allah and they said to him, Women have become emblonded toward their husbands. He, the Prophet, gave a permission to beat them. <laughs> Who won this hadith? And guess what? This is Sahih. Because they will say to you, it's weak. Just reason. You show it to them, they will say to you, right, automatically, it's weak. Brother, it's weak. Guaranteed, brother, it is weak. No, it's not. Here we go. This is the link. And the women who complain about their husbands are the bad women, by the way, if you read the hadith carefully. Where are you, Jogo? Jogo, you, why you didn't say liar yet? This is something fishy about Jogo. Until now, he did not say to me liar. Jogo, are you okay? You made me worry, brother, now. I hope you are doing fine, brother. I feel something missing if a Muslim don't say you're a liar. There's something wrong. Like, what is, what's happening? Something fishy, huh? What happened? Any Abdul? So if the wife complains about their husbands, we beat them? What if the husband is an is a is a is a is a garbage guy? Huh? What does that mean? If the wives are complain about their husbands, we beat them. He did say that. Okay, now I feel better. Thank you, Jogo. I appreciate you, Jogo. Hey, Jogo, I'm going to go to Indonesia and I'm going to visit you. I will give you an. Uh, uh, I will give you my book and I will sign a special autograph for you. It says liar. Hmm? By the way, Jogo, your name is a close from the Geigo. Guy, do you know what? You know what? Yesterday we spoke about, uh, right? You know what would happen to the lizard, right? Jigo. Maybe this guy is a judge, you know. 
by the way who knows what was the job of the prophet uh, father who knows as long we are talking about this word here who knows what the prophet father job anyone knows according to Muslim not according to me no he was a jigalo you see we remind the jigo or gaigo according to Muslims he was a jigalo he sleep with women for money well if you have my books you see a reference Get my book, The Deception of Allah, because this is all in Arabic, you know. You cannot find those things in English. This is why my book is like a walking, talking library. Tons of reference, endless. And the sister of Waraq ibn Nawfal, she offered him 100 camel to sleep with her. I will do it for half a price, Waraq sister. 100 camel, I will take 50. I will take 45 I mean what a holy prophet and and they say to you that the prophet is coming from a holy or noble family noble family and the father he get paid for sex do you see how noble he is what kind of man he get paid for sex that's that's mean he's a whore Whore is not only a woman, by the way. Whore can be a man. And actually, the man who sleep with the whore, which means he pay for sex, he's a whore too. But in this case, Muhammad father is getting paid for sex. Hey, Jogo, don't you want to say liar? I miss you, my friend. Please don't forget to say that. The lizard is the enemy of Allah. As you see, the prophet even, he announced a reward, like the most wanted criminal in Islam is a lizard. And if you kill him from the first shot, Allah will give you top reward. If you kill him from the second shot, Allah will give you half reward. If you give him, kill him from the third shot, that's mean you are a stupid Abdul. I mean, what's wrong with you? Either you need to change your glasses or you need to go to training. It's just a lizard. Why you cannot kill him from the first shot? Debate, debate Jogo in Arabic. This guy is Indonesian. How am I going to debate him in Arabic? He prayed to his God in Arabic, but yet he don't speak Arabic. And why this uh, animal is the enemy of Allah? Because when uh, Abraham was in fire, all the animals in the wood, they tried to stop the fire, including the turtle. The turtle was there. The turtle was like so fast, bringing water and spit at Abraham. Bring water from the river, go all the way to the river and come back. All the turtles. And you know, the turtles are the best to work in fire department. So all animals, including Miss Turtle, Except Mr. Lizard. Mr. Lizard, he was blowing wind, so he will burn Prophet Muhammad. Hmm? Jogo, you are fluent in Arabic? Give me your Skype, Jogo. I will call you. Just because you're Indonesian, special treatment. This is a story related with Prophet Abraham, we know that. But where do you get this story from? Do you really, uh, Abdul, do you really believe that Mr. Geigo, he did that? I mean, don't you think the story is so wide and hard to believe? I mean, your prophet is really is a good storyteller, man.
So you are telling us that this guy, let me show you what we are talking about. Oh boy. Your, your prophet telling us that this guy was trying to kill prophet Abraham. Is that true? Jogo. Do you really believe in this? That this guy, he was trying to burn prophet Abraham. Are you there, Jogo? By the way, after I learned this story, I called the insurance company and I said to them, do you have insurance against fire of Geigo, Geigo and lizard? They said, what? They said, uh, insurance? Lizard insurance? Do you have lizard insurance? The stupid insurance companies, they never heard of this before. Stupid insurance companies in America. They do not know that every little lizard is a, is, is a dragon. They have fire from their mouth. They burn you. Actually, I have a lizard in the back of my yard. I captured him and I tied him from his, uh, his, his tail just for the purpose of barbecue. Each time I want to make a barbecue, I put the chicken in the front of him and he open his mouth, he burn it. And this is a true story. I, I, can, I have witnesses. I have Aisha as a witness. I have Abu Bakr as a witness. I have, I mean, all of them are dead. Don't ask me to bring them. Hmm? So this guy was burning the prophet Abraham. He's in the size of my finger. Abdul, are you serious that this guy was trying to burn prophet Abraham? We have to admit. <clears throat> we, we have to admit this is, must be true. Sorry. Proven. Any uh, proud believer? <clears throat> hmm. Where is this guy Jogo from Indonesia? I wanna I wanna debate a sheikh from Indonesia. You know, if I debate a sheikh from Indonesia, and this is an open challenge for every single sheikh in Indonesia. If you have a beard or without a beard, it's okay. It's okay. I know that you are Asian. It's very hard to grow a beard. It's okay. So we will give you an exception in this case. All right. If you are a Middle Eastern, you have to grow a beard before you talk to me. Sorry. But because you are an Asian, I will let it go. Do you see a, a Muslim sheikh trying to grow a beard? He's from Asia. Like, I mean, it doesn't grow. So what they do? They need, they need the beard. Otherwise, nobody will believe them that they are sheikh. Mm, buy, buy something from Amazon. Put it in your... I wish I can give you my beard. I'm sick of it. I shave in the morning. Afternoon, I have a beard. Lucky you if you don't have one. Honestly, I shave. I shave. You know, I take a shower. I shave. I wake up in the morning. I need to shave again. I mean, I'm sick of it. I don't know what to do with this uh, beard. Uh, you know, if you grow it, if you grow it, like, you know, I have a long beard. So one day, 
uh, somebody asked me when you sleep where do you put your beard above the pillow or under the pillow i could not sleep that night because the whole night i was moving my beard up the pillow and under the pillow because before i never noticed where my beard goes you know brother true story where do you put your beard upon the and the muslim they think if you have a beard that's mean you have a like you have a knowledge i bring your beard with you any abdul Jago, you are not scared, so give me your Skype. I will call you now. I will give you an exception just because you are an Indonesian. What do you say, guys? Is Mr. Jogo brave to give me his Skype to call him? You keep calling me liar, so I will give you the opportunity to say to me, liar, life on air. What do you say? For free. I call you right away, but if don't say hi, say liar right away. Don't even say hello. Are you there, Jago? Hmm. Okay, Jogo, I think he need to get the permission from his four wives, otherwise they will spank him. So, do we have any other question? I, I think we have enough for today. What do you think, guys? <clears throat> what do you think? Any Abdul? And by the way, we have to admit, I mean, the Prophet of Allah, he knows stories nobody knows. Actually, the Prophet of Allah is the first one who discovered evolution. I mean, the atheists, they always debate about evolution, right? But the evolution of what prophet is the opposite. The atheists they say we used to be something and we became a human. No, the prophet he have different idea. As an example, the prophet is the first one who discover that rats they used to be human and they became rats. Mm -hmm. And this is a true story. Read the brother. <clears throat> the prophet said. A group of the Israeli, the Jews, you know, the Jews. I mean, the Jews, always the problem, the Jews. I mean, who is going to do problem except the Jews? Brother. Brother, I mean, come on, we have to be honest here. We have to blame the Jews always. So, a group of Israeli were lost. Nobody knows what they did. Oops, 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 hold on. Prophet, even you, you do not know. I'm really disappointed. I mean... A scientist, a prophet, a knowledgeable. The Muslim, they keep saying to, to us, Allah and his messengers knows best. And then you say to us, prophet, nobody knows what they did. Brother, don't look at the empty side of the cup. Look at the full one, brother. But the whole cup is empty now. <laughs> so look at this. A group of Israeli were lost. Okay, who are those groups? We do not know. Where they lost, we do not know. What they did, we do not know. So what is the story? But Muhammad, he is a genius. He says, but I did not see them, except they were cursed and they changed into rats. Oh boy. Oh man. Rats? Uh, rats? Imagine in the morning you are a Jew, afternoon you, you turned into a rat. I mean, this is not even fair. What about a cat? Rat? Hello? Was it a cute rat or a brother? Let me introduce to you Jack Shalom. Jack Shalom, do you like to tell us anything about your experience as an ex-Jew? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion? Believe that a human being, he used to be human, and then Allah turned him into, <laughs> into a rat. <laughs> hey Jack, how you doing? <laughs> Habibi, Habibi, Christian friends, Habibi. Hey Jack, how is the how is the, how is the life uh, being uh, being a rat? Habibi, it's perfect, Habibi. 
for free, Habibi. We eat for free. We have housing for free. Free insurance. And even the silver brother is for free. Uh, uh, Jack Shalom. And uh, how the prophet discovered about you that uh, you used to be a human and now he became a, you became a rat. <laughs> Habibi, the prophet, he's the best Habibi. Habibi, he knows everything. Because we did something wrong. Okay, uh, Jack, what you did? Why Allah, he cursed him and he made you a rat? Habibi, because Habibi, uh, 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 Allah, he said it's haram uh, uh, to eat, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, something what is that something uh, it's a uh, like I cannot uh, say the name for you because it's haram to say it too really it's haram to say the name yeah because I'm afraid to say the name again Allah will curse me again and make me as a Jew <laughs> I will go back I'm really bored. Muslims you believe in those stories a Jew a Jew where is the hadith hold on We have tons of hadith. Here we go. But the prophet here, you notice that the prophet he analyzes. I mean, he is so deep. If you are a woman and you are single, this is the husband you want. You ask him a question, he study it carefully. He look at your food, what you eat. He study your food. He will be inspired by things you do he don't take things lightly very deep so the prophet said I do not know I don't see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats for now look at the reasoning the prophet don't say things without giving reasoning this is scientific conversation you see to know if somebody is scientifically speaking to you or not if he give you the reasoning this is scientific if he don't give you the reasoning it's mean he's a stupid so look what the prophet here he give you the reasoning for if you bit the milk of she camel in the front of the rat it will not drink it but if you put the milk of a sheep she drink it so look how smart Muhammad is Muhammad he noticed that Jews don't drink she camel rats they don't drink she camel so obviously those rats used to be jews i mean hello <laughs> unbelievable super smart prophet i mean this prophet is the the most unbelievable smart intelligent person in this earth so now if we put whiskey in the front of a rat and he don't drink it and we put it in the front of Muslim and he don't drink it. That's mean this guy, he's a Muslim rat. And he used to be human and Allah curse him and make him a rat. I mean, what kind of uh, logic this logic is? Hey, Muslims, are you okay? Well, let me tell you the good news. Uh, donkeys don't drink whiskey. So? Hello? And donkeys don't eat pork. Hello? Yeah, this is a this is an Orthodox Jews rat. <laughs> I mean, how crazy, stupid this story is. It's, it's here you see how much he tried to insult the Jews, to put them down, to picture them as very evil people. This is the purpose of the story. It's evil story. This guy, he cannot see the Jews anything except rats and pigs and donkeys and monkeys. Hmm? Anyway, guys, uh, I think we have enough for today. Uh, don't forget to download the videos. By tomorrow, I'm going to do some shaving for my videos i don't keep them for long so download this video put it in your account and always if you want to look for the same video try to look for the same title or something close you will see people they are and subscribe to the other channels where people download my videos so 
if when they decide to find where you can find my videos those channels always they load everything I have all right so I want to say thank you and I want to say thank you to mr. Jogo from Indonesia uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that you did not give me your Skype to call you because I was afraid you will give me your Skype I was saying Allah make me right before he he give me Skype imagine how scared I am a Muslim from Indonesia he want to call me and speak to me about Islam. Look how horrible that will be. I mean, obviously, you are a very, very skilled. Uh, the only thing he knows, he says, liar. Liar. Brother, what is your education? Liar. Hey, brother, I'm talking to you. Liar. Hmm? I'm a Muslim. What? what? I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. This is what they know. Muslim from Indonesia. Or what he knew. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Insha'Allah. That's it. Anything else? He do not know. He recites for you Al-Fatiha. Bismillah. Al-Lahman. Al-Lahim. A'udhu bil-Nahim. Okay, brother. What does this word mean? I don't know. I didn't recite from the beginning. Bismillah. Al-Lahman. Do you speak Arabic, brother? No, I don't speak Arabic. I do not need to speak Arabic. This is the prayer. Allah told us to repeat it. I mean, genius. This is genius to repeat a prayer you do not speak the language in the language which is not yours and by the way how silly this prayer is imagine Allah he said this prayer and you are repeating to Allah what he said to you where is your prayer so to make it simple imagine somebody he called you five times a day you answer the phone like ta -dan, ta -dan, ta -dan, ta -dan, you answer the phone hello Right away, even before you say hello, he starts saying, Amin. And he hang up. Hold on, what's your name? He hang up. Then he call you after two hours. He hang up. Five times a day, they call Allah saying the same thing all their life. How silly. At least say something to Allah. Like say to him, leave me alone. Say to him, do you love me? Like, do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Say something. If we are Zach and Nick, Brother, why we just repeat the same prayer five times a day? What does Zakir Naik will say to you? Let us think about an answer. Zakir Naik is a super super scholar, as you know. Brother Sitter, there's a person his name is the Christian Prince, and he always ask very expensive question. If he asks you why we recite Al Fatiha five times a day, you say to him the following. I will bring it thing carefully. We recite the chapter because Allah said so. Do you understand, brother? Because Allah said so. And we don't discuss any politics with Allah. Thank you very much. So we recite it because Allah said so. Where in the Quran Allah said so? Show me. Any Muslim can show me? Where Allah said in the Quran, recite Al-Fatiha five times. By the way, uh, how many prayer Allah he gave to Muhammad? Anyone remember? <coughs> Anyone remember? How many? No, Allah gave him. No, Allah gave him four. <laughs> okay, maybe next time. Next time we'll make a video about it. Let us not to start talking because that will make our video stay for the coming two hours. Uh, next video, remind me to talk about this. How the prayer of Islam came to be five. It is the most hilarious, stupid story ever you can imagine. You will not believe it. We will talk about it next time. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And... Uh, I hope that we did uh, give some answers for those who they are seeking answers. And for the Muslims, Abdul, 
uh, I hope they are listening carefully. You know, we are here to help you. We are. I'm not against the Muslims. I am against Islam. I believe Muslims are poor people need help. They are victims of this cult. All the suffering they live is because of Islam. Islam is the problem, not the solution, as many think. Islam bring nothing to, to to Islamic countries except disasters, violence, hate, crimes, feeling insecure, conspiracy. Everybody is against you. This is what you feel as a Muslim. You feel because Muhammad he made you believe in such a thing. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. I want to take you as a friend, my friend. I want to be a friend to you. I want to be a brother to you. But Islam is forbidding you from being close to me. And this is the clear proof that Islam is not from God. It is of the devil. Because anyone prevent people from being friends to live as a human, he cannot be from God. Jesus said, love your enemy. Pray for those, bless those who curse you. That is from God. That is God himself. God is all about love. He will not be happy to see us hating each other. So listen carefully to yourself and be wise. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much. Take care.